It's Thursday, July 26th. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Evening Update. At the top of the news, seven fires of note now burning within the Kamloops Fire Center, most of, most of those within what is known as the Okanagan Complex. Three of those fires burning within Okanagan Mountain Park, south of Kelowna City limits. Fire Information Officer Noel Kakula said there's been no growth the past 24 hours. However, the hot weather is becoming a challenge. The Mount Aeneas, Law Creek and Mount Conkle fires have also held steady over the past day. The Glenfer Road fire north of Naramata has been added to the list to provide better communication with the public. She says that blaze has been prompting numerous phone calls. While fire activity slowly dies down in the Okanagan, the smoke has not. While most of the smoke is emanating from local fires, BC Wildfire Service says some may be coming from as far away as Eurasia. Meteorologist Doug Lundquist says it's more likely that smoke has drifted from Ontario. The air quality index expected to rise to four or five in the region by Friday. That index is on a scale of one to ten. A Peachland resident evacuated during the height of the Mount Aeneas fire, lucky to find her home still standing. Savannah Penner, who lives on Brent Road, says she could see flames on the hillside above from her home before she left. And when she was allowed to return, found just how close the fire came. So we looked over the bank and we realized how lucky we really are, how good these firefighters can actually fight fire, because how did they even know it was here? is what I don't know, how they even see this and stop it from my house. There are no longer any evacuation alerts as a result of the fires burning through the Okanagan. Summerland lifted the final alerts Thursday morning for residents along Garnet Valley Road, Wild Horse Road, Callan Road and Meadow Valley Roads. With all alerts now rescinded, the Regional District of Central Okanagan closing its emergency operations center. However, officials say the center is on standby and can reopen on a moment's notice if needed. As bad as the past 10 days have been in the Okanagan, the current fire season still pales in comparison to last year. Fires have burned less than a third of the area as they did at this time in 2017. That year broke numerous records, including total land burned at 1.2 million hectares, total cost of fire suppression, more than 568 million, and number of people displaced at about 65,000. In non-fire related news, Highway 97, 20 kilometers north of Vernon, has now reopened to traffic. A highway was closed near Tanasket Road shortly before noon for a vehicle crash. No information as to the severity of that incident. However, one Castanet reader reported a helicopter landing near the crash site. Penticton RCMP have arrested a priority offender following a violent struggle outside the local welfare office on Wednesday afternoon. That's a day income assistance went out for the month of July. Jordan Wall was arrested after officers spotted him in possession of heroin and fentanyl while sitting outside the office. Wall allegedly assaulted officers as they tried to apprehend him. Clone RCMP have released video surveillance images of a man wanted in connection with a violent assault Saturday evening. The man allegedly beat his victim in the head with a longboard at the Queensway bus loop. Pictures and a description of the man are available on Castanet. A Kelowna mother says she may never return to City Park after discovering a used needle floating in the lake near where she and her young children were swimming. Desiree Cremore says she scooped the needle up with her coffee cup and put it in a needle disposal in the washroom. And City Park is awash with activity as organizers put the final touches on preparations for Center of Gravity. The three-day music and sports festival begins Friday and runs through Sunday. Featured performers include Elenium, Zed, Action Bronson, Wu-Tang Clan, Jaws and French Montana. It'll be sunny and hot no matter where you are in the Okanagan this weekend and into next week. Highs in the mid-30s. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, traffic concerns for some Glen Rosa residents and a 2016 stabbing incident nets 10 months in jail. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.